What does that wheel do? Um. Oh, 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 oh son dang. of a bitch. Oh my god, I saw that. <laughs> Did you just pick fall? Up. <laughs> pick me up! Oh my god, that's death. funny! Oh my god, that was funny! <laughs> 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 oh my, oh god, my god! Up. Oh, that was funny! <laughs>trying to get me to do the story what the hell what whoa what the f what the hell Hey, hey, folks, welcome to Savages TV. I'm Doc Savage, and you are not. It's true, 100% actual, factual, not fake news. Hope you guys are doing jazzy and smooth. Welcome to your weekend, jazzy. Little Savage Saturday morning action. It's uh, 12.52 a.m. I am late. Couldn't be helped. Had some work stuff, and then food stuff, and then fighting a food coma. But we're here now, and that's the important part. Uh, no, you're not. What? Are you sure? Uh, where's Doc? Okay. <clears throat> hey, Nam. <laughs> Uh, I can't pronounce that. Somebody's changed the name to something I can't pronounce. I'm doing well in Jazzy. How about you? Uh, also, uh, is it McLovin? Hey. How you doing? Welcome to the stream. Hope you're doing well in Jazzy tonight. Um, yeah. So, yeah, I had the work stuff. I had um, food stuff. We had some uh, pulled pork barbecue. Yeah. That was delicious. It's kind of sitting there now. I'm going to drink some bourbon to get rid of the, uh, the sitting there part. We'll get we'll get that taken care of. No worries. With the real Doc Savage, please. I think there's three. I think there's three of me back here behind me here. That's what it is. Yeah, something like that. <clears throat> anyway, interesting day today. I have no idea what happened. I'm very confused about it. And guess why? Because it was it was Friday. Now it's Saturday. Thank God it's Saturday. Wow. So yeah, let's get dangerous, shall we? Indeed, we shall. Oh, hey. Something like that. <laughs> a little meat chopping going on there. <clears throat> oh. I gotta speak to Flan. Because Flan's the man. Something like that. Indecisive is in the house, in the house, in the house, he's indecisive. <clears throat> in case you didn't know. Andy! Welcome, welcome. Yeah, I saw that. <laughs> I saw that thing you posted up there on. Uh... <laughs> you know what? I'm going to share that. It's just, it, was, it was too funny. I got to. 
I gotta pop that up there. <laughs> oh yeah, Indy uh, posted this picture up here. We're gonna have to let me see if I can get it. Um, see if we can get that up there for. Her. We'll, we'll post. We'll we'll pop that up there right quick. Indy, Indy put this up there. Um, there's the thing. There's the thing. Yeah, there we. Go. Oh wait, I'm a little bit off with it. Oh, that's close enough. <coughs> he posted this up here. I don't know if you can see that or not. It says Bacon City. Yeah. <laughs> Bacon City. Yeah, who's flying this thing? Oh, goodness. Look at that. Thank you for that, Indy. That was funny. That was hilarious. It was indeed. Indeed. Oh, it's a super sub hype. If I can get the thing to work. Hold on a second. There we go. There we go. Super sub hype from uh, Bronco. This is the capital. We have a Bronco little problem with our sequence, sub, sub, so we may experience hype. some slight turbulence and then oh, explode. And there's something else going on here. Oh, Primal Dad is with the rating. Oh my God, you guys are savaging it up. Savage. Indeed. A little hypity. Let's throw some more hypity, 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 hypity. Thank you guys. Thank you. Thank you, thank you very much. Thank you for. There we go. Eating Been eating fish? What? No. <laughs> it's Bull Park Barbecue, man. Hey. Thank you for that uh, sub there. Um. <clears throat> Who was that sub? This is the captain. Bronco we have a with little problem with our entry sequence, so we may experience some slight Bronco with the host for the win. Explode. Indeed, indeed. Primal data. Oh, thank you. Uh, Nim, you've got it already. Damn. GG, Nim's on the ball. Primal's been doing some uh, NBA 2K21 action there. Indeed, indeed. Thank you for that uh, hosty, hosty, ready, ready. Appreciate that much. <clears throat> yeah. <laughs> indeed, indeed. Oh, look, Bronco. Oh, Bronco's been doing some... Did Bronco do some streaming at some point with some Elder Scrolls uh, Skyrim? Did. GG, Bronco. How you... I'm pr pretty sure you're enjoying that. Yeah. It's a, it's a good game. It's a good game. It's... 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 It's epicness led to stuff like this, you know? I know this is a different thing entirely. Oh, wow. Look at those flowers, man. You know, that's not bad. Those flowers aren't too bad. You know, usually you look at uh, foliage and games and video games and they look like crap, but these look pretty good. That's not too bad for video game flowers. Yeah, uh, probably a few too many particles floating this around. This is a captain. Oh, we have right. a little problem with our entry sequence, so we may experience some slight turbulence and then with the host explode. For the win. Host for the win. Host for the win. Thank you, Bert. Been doing the Dark Brotherhood. Oh, Dark Brotherhood. Yeah. Yeah. What is this? What's this? The rock with a rope around it and a piece of cloth tied on it. What's that for? Oh, well, we're over here at this place. Which, I thought this was based on a real place, but I think it was just something that they put in the game. I don't think this really exists. If, if somebody could, you know, because there's no such place as Tula Glock on, uh, on, uh, if you look it up on Google, but I'd really like to know if this place really exists, because that would be effing cool, and I'd love to visit, but I don't think it really does. I think, I think it was just made up for the, look at the castle sitting on top of the hill over there. We're going to have to attack that and climb up the cliff, I think. Um... <clears throat> But this is a really cool, epic place right here. I, I like it, you know. But I would, uh, I would like to know if it's real or not. I don't, I don't think it is. I think it's just made up for the game. I think it just looked cool to somebody that, hey, it'd be very cool if we put that in there, wouldn't it? Yeah, it would. It would be cool. Yeah. Is it based on a real place in Ireland? I don't, I don't think it is. 
I could be wrong. Correct me if I'm wrong. Put that in chat and let me know if that's for real or not, because I don't think it is. I think it's just made up for the game. Because I can't find anything at all. If, if you Google it, all you get is, you know, stuff about the game. Nothing else. <clears throat> Doc is very thirsty tonight, too, by the way. Hmm. We're going to speak to Flan and knock free. Yeah. <clears throat> Thank you, night bud. Be quiet. Oh, uh, there we go. All right, where are we? We got stuff and things to do. <clears throat> um. Ooh. There's a place we need to raid at some point. I had to go in there and in this place and steal something without you know killing anybody, which was kind of ridiculous. So we got to go here, but we don't have a fast travel location anywhere near there, which is sad. I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to run the whole area from there. Probably go by horseback. Uh, there is a um, a piece of wealth there I can pick up. There's one right here too as well. I think I missed that one earlier. Maybe I'll mark that one first, and then we'll go down there and get that one. I'm gonna skip this right now. I'm not gonna go get that. Not yet. We might have to at some point, though. <clears throat> Boots of the Assembly. Oh, that sounds pretty cool. I, I seem to remember that. I don't know. All right, let's go. Uh, we're going to go. What's the closest one? Two, 300 to 640. We're going to do this one first. It's only 300. We can run there. What a epic place that is right there. That's why I ended there. We were on top of that rock last night. Epic castle over there on the top. We're gonna ass assault that bad boy someone. Some some point. Assault. You know. Look how epic this all looks, my god. It's so incredibly epic. Oh, uh, did I need that? Rations are full. Okay, good. Make sure there's no bad guys in here. Look at there. They've went for a walk. Went for a walk in the forest. What is that? There's a key in the tree. They got little fires, like smudge pot fires in here. What is going on with this? What is this? Really weird. Key in the tree. Very strange. It's like smudge pot area over here or something. I don't know what's going on with that. They must have went for a walk. We're going to go and break in their house and steal their shit. There's something right here, too. We got in the cart. Thank you. Stole their clothing right out of their basket. They didn't need it. Anybody home? Hello? No? Okay. We're going to loot the place. Any letters? Oh, there's something over here. Lamp maker. When I first discovered the unusual fog left a residue, I suspect it could be uh, put to use. <clears throat> I've discovered that if I glean enough of the residue off large leaves and combine it with copious fish oils, I can create fuel for a lamp that burns as bright as dawning day. One last trial, the brightest of all. Oh, yeah. He blew himself up. Oh, there's the, there's the lamp oil there. Okay. Some tungsten out there. Yes, I think he's blown himself up. Pretty sure that's what happened. So he went back out here to his test range. And there's a crater in the ground. And a few, a few things on fire sitting around over here. And, uh, yeah. Yeah. He's 
He's blowing himself up. Yep, he's blowing himself up. That's what the crater is. Yep. Oh, wait, what's this up here? Let's see. Uh, some junk there. Burn, burning material there. Chunks of stuff. I don't see the body anywhere. Completely blew this. This tree has been completely blown. This tree was apparently part of it. Uh, it's blown out of the ground and ripped in half. Yes, yeah, so, so that tree was standing and it blew the tree up and it blew the other tree up. So apparently, a little bit too uh, potent with the uh, with the lamp oil. I bet the body's not anywhere to be found at all. He's too. He's completely gone, obliterated in a puff of smoke. Uh, what's this up here? Is anything? Up here? There's debris everywhere. It's like a large explosion in the woods here. I don't see the body though. There's no body, but the key was up a tree, so it indicates that he must have had the key in his pocket, which means he's he's dead. So he won't need that tungsten anymore. <clears throat> there we go. <coughs> jump over the best part of chat. What part of chat did I jump over? Uh, one of the beyond light ones. I don't know what you're talking about. Uh, um, which part of chat are you talking about? I missed something. Full bore, uh, curse around, quick draw, snapshot. So I don't know what that is. I don't know what that is. Uh, it's, uh, yeah. <clears throat> I have no idea. Wish I was around when you played uh, ED. I hope I'm around if you ever do it. ED. ED. What is ED? <coughs> <coughs> Which one's ED? I don't remember. Poor guy blew himself. He did. He blew himself up. Gone out with a bang. Yeah. Mr. Big, your big pee pee. What? Oh, yeah. Mr. Big pee pee there. I, I know. I, that's fine. Oh, Elite Dangerous. Oh, I got you. I got you. Well, you know, I played some Elite Dangerous. And, um,. Yeah, I mean, I might go back and play it again at some point, but uh, what happened was I was doing quite well at that game. I was avoiding getting into any kind of PvP uh, crap. I did I did run out of fuel. I had to call the fuel rats in once, and they, they were extremely professional and helpful. I do appreciate the fuel rats for coming and saving my ass out in the middle of nowhere where I shouldn't have been without a fuel scoop. So, yeah. So, uh, you know, I built up my ship and was doing some, uh, I was cracking some, some asteroids and mining some, uh, uh, some low temp diamonds. And then they changed the economy all at one time. They completely changed it. And, uh, and they made the, the frequency of low temp diamonds almost nothing at all. I went for four days in a row. Uh, from system to system, bouncing all over the place, looking for low temp diamonds, or uh, whatever the other, I can't remember what the other one was, but there was another fairly pricey thing to look for, and I, I couldn't find that either. The two, the two most expensive things in the game, but they changed it where it just wasn't worth it doing it anymore, and I think it was because of the fleet carriers. So, um, yeah, so there was that. Mining shifts more than it, but see, that was the only thing I was into. I wasn't interested in, you know, going out and and getting into PvP. wasn't interested in that at all. And when I did try to do some um, some combat runs and and just going out and and um, you know going after NPCs, um, you know, pirates and such, I went to try to go after those. <clears throat> Inevitably, what would happen is, is I would get in there and I'd get the upper hand on them because, you know, the AI is not quite as quick thinking. It's good. It's not that good. And I was in the process of taking them out. 
And then I would get suddenly attacked by a player out of nowhere. So, you know, that, and I just, I just zip right out of the sector. And then all those resources I spent, um, you know, getting ready to go after and get bounties, uh, was totally useless because, you know, they pretty much sapped up all my resources. And then I had to go back out and mine some more. Well, the problem with that is, is it changed it. So, you know, it wasn't even profitable to do it anymore. I went around four, four different sec, you know, four days or four sessions going from sector to sector, looking for, you know, low temp diamonds and the other expensive stuff to find and crack some asteroids open. And I was getting quite good at cracking the asteroids and then boom, nothing, nothing. My solo or private is there? Yeah, I know. I know. And there's a lot of things that's changed. I just couldn't, couldn't do it. It was just irritating. It was very irritating, actually, the way they had uh, set it up. Okay, so that's 900. That's where, where is that? That's right in front of me now. There's this. That's going to be too far to run down. I'll come back for that later. We're going to go for this instead and take that off the board. Find out what these two mysteries are here. And that's right close to one of those other areas we need to go to. <clears throat> uh, time was long before fleet carriers. Fleet carriers ruined the game, by the way. <coughs> the fleet carrier. Everybody's like, oh, fleet carriers. It's going to be awesome. No, they ruined the game with fleet carriers. It was horrible. Um, I'd go into a sector and it'd be like, you know, 50 fleet carriers parked there. Oh, look at there. Doesn't see me coming, does he? Didn't see it coming, did he? Oh, just leather? Really? I wanted those antlers, man. Some hell of a antlers on that thing. And by the way, folks, I'm not going to toot my own horn, but oh, it's a deer. I thought that was a reindeer, but it's, it's a deer. Not to toot my horn, but I'm going to toot it anyway. Doc's feeling kind of funky today because, well, Today is, at least right now, after after midnight here, um, it is uh, the 17th of July. That's Doc's birthday. So today is my birthday. Another spin around the big shiny thing. So there we go. Now technically, ooh, that was a deep dive, wasn't it? Technically, my birthday doesn't really start until about, like, it's like five or six. That's a nice fish. Look at that. Hello, fish. Come closer. Come closer. I'll... Ask you a question, fish. <clears throat> so, yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Nimmy. Yeah. <clears throat> Technically, my birthday doesn't really start until like you know, five or six in the morning, somewhere in there. Cause you know, I was I was one of those uh, born in the early hours of the morning after waking mom up in the middle of the night. So yeah, so technically that's what that is. <sighs> Excuse me. Not a space kind of guy. Yeah, I mean, not me either. I'm not really, a, you know. Your brother-in-law plays Elite Dangerous. It's a nerdy game. It is kind of nerdy, actually. You know, and and my and it was fun doing some um doing some stuff with the uh with the uh, mining because you can you know you get in there. It's, it's a very technical thing trying to set up your you know get the proper ship with the proper amount of holes to do the mining. Get all the uh, right uh, equipment in the in the ship to make sure you can actually mine correctly. 
and then you know you have to use thrusters very lightly to you know get the the ship to rotate around the asteroid without crashing into it or the other asteroids around and then uh blow that thing apart and uh collect the uh, collect the contents and that was a lot of fun so i did enjoy that yeah <clears throat> Get off my lawn. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we are all in space. Yeah, we technically are. This tiny little blue ball floating around in the vast, vastness of uh, space. Yeah, that's us. I watched a video one time that just blew my mind completely. And I just sat there and I was like, wow. I never really thought about it. But, uh, you know, looking through a microscope at a, at a tiny little, um, little thing, like just an, something the size of a, um, of an atom, you know, look at something like that, you know, like an electron microscope, tiniest little thing. That right there pales in comparison to the size difference between us and the universe. Um, when you really think about it, the, the, uh, the distance between us and the moon is way further away than in any of us might, I'm going to click on this in a minute here, but it's way further away than any of us might think. And then when you back away from that to the next planet and, and out to the solar system, it's, it's something that you... You don't realize, you know, the scope of it, that we are a tiny dot, a tiny dot, just in our solar system. If you figure us on this planet, and then the planet is a tiny dot in the solar system, and if you back out further, the solar system becomes a tiny dot in the, uh, in the galaxy. Just on a, we're we're on we're we're kind of on the outstretched arm of the galaxy, way out. We're, we're nowhere near the center of our own galaxy. It's way out there, and then further back, even still, you know, you got other galaxies, and then a collection of galaxies. And you keep backing away, and then you know, just the distances between that are are amazingly far away. That that just to think about, you know how tiny we actually are just don't believe in aliens <laughs> well see that's the thing there's so many there's there's so much space out there so many planets out there um so far away that even uh, even our our highest power telescopes can't even see the sun that these planets are around you know, sometimes we just see a galaxy out there. It's so far away. Um, who's to say? I mean, they've got the same issue looking back at us. And just to spot a, a planet that might support life at a distance, it's it's the odds are incredibly, incredibly high that we can't find uh, a planet uh, that is that is absolutely ripe with with some sort of life even vegetation you know bugs even i mean you know not even not even human like life not even intelligent life just life and finding it would be it's it's you know i i don't suspect that we're actually going to find life on another planet that we can actually detect in my lifetime i don't i don't suspect we'll do that but i do think it's out there and if we're intelligent life, I think it's possible that there are intelligent life forms somewhere out there in the universe. It would be arrogant to think not. Have they visited us? Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe in the distant past, um, they may have come here, which would explain all these crazy things that we find um, laying around that, that even you know scientists can't advice, explain um but you know we don't have proof that they're there it's not 100 percent proof 
why would an alien want to visit? Maybe it wasn't an, an, a world full of people when they visited. Maybe it was a world full of vegetation and bugs. I don't know. <clears throat> yeah, so, I mean... Uh, it's 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 just one of those things. It would be arrogant to think that there's not intelligent life somewhere else in the universe, but the, the fact of the matter is is they have to think the same way. So there we go. It's one of those things. Huh? What am I doing? What am I doing, Nim? I, I don't know. What, Nim's doing something. Nim's doing something. <clears throat> I don't know what he's doing. Um, something, but, uh, yeah, there has to be some sort of life on the, uh, in the universe somewhere. What the hell? Oh, Nimmy, Nimmy. Some bitchin' doors of coffee. Thank you, Nimmy. <laughs> Nimmy with the donator. Yeah, indeed. <laughs> Thank you, Nimmy. Got to give a big round of applause. Little birthday gifter. You savage. savage. <laughs> Thank you, Nimmy. Appreciate that, man. I'll I'll buy I'll buy a really nice uh, six pack and some cake. <laughs> took the thing down from I know I took the thing down from the wall because it's not working. And you're right, you know what? That just that went through the the previous one didn't. That one went through the previous didn't. It's it's what it is is um it's it's um. It's what something coming from um, what do you call it? Uh, Streamlabs. It's Streamlabs. So I have to figure out a different way to put donations up there because Streamlabs will fuck it up. I've got I've got two in there right now. I can't accept. They won't let me unless I get, unless I go and get a, a a bank account to prove to them I am who I say I am. Even though you know whatever, right? <clears throat> The truth is out there. It is. <laughs> UFO sp spottings are a way to get the government to focus on something else. Yeah, it could be. Could be. Chlorophyll is why. So far, all known planetary bodies, there's only one Earth. Yeah. Yeah. Like a green gem, yeah. Well, now there's now here's the thing they've they've they there's they can't get the data. They just know that there's a planet within a habitable zone. There's about four of them they found that are in a habitable zone. Um, the as far as I can tell from last time I looked, but um, but that doesn't mean that the things that make life. This is a very strange place, by the way, I'm standing. It doesn't mean that the things that make life are actually present on the planet that's in the habitable zone. Now, technically, Mars is in the habitable zone of our solar system. But we, as of yet, haven't actually found any any life there. So, you know, and there's only two planets in our solar system that are, are even within the habitable zone, and it's Earth and Mars. The rest of them are outside of the habitable zone one way or the other, either too too cold or too hot. Uh, now, around other stars, there's guesswork involved about what is and what isn't the habitable zones because of the, the nature of the type of sun that they have there. And they believe and they theorize, not knowing for a fact, that, um, that uh, if a sun is very similar to ours, they have a good idea where the habitable zone is and because they have to get it in in over time observations um where they see a, a certain wobble of the sun and the wobble indicates uh a planet around the sun 
And then they have to figure out <clears throat> how that wobble of over time, how that wobble affects the sun's uh, uh, path and what what could be causing it, and then the gravitational pull. And uh, then they have to have to calculate and guesstimate the size of a body that could do that kind of gravitational pull. So what they found doing that, and and there's a whole algorithm they go through. They've discovered four four uh, potential planets around suns in habitable zones uh, in, in within our galaxy, and that's how they do that. <clears throat> Roughly, that's the layman's terms about how, how to do it. I I don't know. There's a whole technical aspect to it, but that's what they claim. That the and it's a theory. It's not a proven fact. It won't be a proven fact until you actually you know see the little green green men on the other end of the uh, the the galaxy waving at us. But that's it. <clears throat> NASA live stream on Twitch. Something. Yeah, they do. They do. Um, uh, some of the, some of the, uh, SpaceX, uh, missions they've, uh, they've live streamed on, uh, on Twitch, actually. I started to host them one time. I was like, yeah, they don't need my help. <laughs> make a podcast? Why would I make a podcast? Burke, I've just done a podcast. Um, Burke Kemper's off the bed already. Is it that time already there, Burke? Oh my God. Burke Kemper's off the bed. Well, buddy, thanks for hanging out with us and listening to me, like, you know, chit-chat and not actually do any action. Uh, but, uh, yeah, thanks for hanging out. Thanks for the uh, host as well. Burkentper's going on a Burklurk. Indeed. A little salty, salty dog. No. Burkentur. 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 Later on there, Burk. Sleep well, buddy. I'll put a sock in. <laughs> Hijack the stream with bird ball. What? <laughs> uh, let's do some danger here. Let's see what happens here. I, I better, I better see, make sure I got this. Okay, we're full. This is gonna be something really nasty here. Let's find out. <laughs> oh God. Jesus, they're trying to kill me. about that where's the pig Jesus what what the fuck oh wrong button damn it where's the pig where's the pig there he comes Snapping out of it now there? Yeah. Okay. There we go. That was, uh, craziness. Look, there's arrows. Uh -huh. That's more gooder. Look, there's got some stuff here. Rations are full. They didn't even take full rations for that. Is there any more, uh, purple mushrooms here? In this little uh, circle of death and dismemberment? No? No purple mushrooms in the death and dismemberment zone. Okay, that's all? Alright, cool. Got that out of the way. That was dangerous. <laughs> <coughs> a getter account? What is that? 
What is a getter account? I don't know what that is. Is it is something new I don't know about? Biddy! If someone is trying to kill you, you try to kill him right back. Kill him right back! <laughs> Biddy Bronco. <clears throat> so, uh, haven't censored a getter account. Uh, how do you get that? I don't know how you get that. Never heard of it. Let's see. Oh, okay, yeah. All right. Well, I'll look at that. I got it. I got it pulled up on my. I got it pulled up on my uh, browser now. I'll, I'll take a look at that. I see some of my favorite people are there. Already, that's nice. Ben Carson's on there. Cool. Dinesh D'Souza's on there. Mike Pompeo's on there. Yeah. Cool. I'll check it out. There it is. G-E-T-T-R, right? <clears throat> there we go. I'm having so much fun talking to you guys, I don't even care about playing the game that much. Totally hadn't concentrated on the game at all. But it's hey, you know what? It's it's a it's a weekend. It's my birthday. Screw it. <coughs> it's gonna be one of those Karen Stone thing. It is a Karen Stone thing, I think. Let's read that. <coughs> Foul bog, fitted bog, what evil brews in you, what ills that wrought, what sour corruption springs from your dread depths, my siblings sipped from your stagnant streams. Their eyes grow dark as your pitchy pools, as their love for the land withers. Right. Can I collect that, please? Thank you. Karen Stones. Really? Damn it. <coughs> they used to be different than the uh, the rest, won't they? Okay. Let's do it this way. Do it that way. Oh, look at that. Ooh, that's not gonna work. There we go. Come on, up. <laughs> that doesn't look like it's very very supportive, does it? Hmm, if I turn around the other way, let's see. Damn it. Wow. Tch. Chunk of fucking rock. Come on. This is not going to be easy at all. I see that now. See, it's got flat ends on it. You know what? We're going to put this over here. Um, why does that look like that would just fall there? Oh my god. <laughs> uh, okay, let's try this one now. At least it's not raining, right?
Well. How about that? Where's the other rock? Ooh. About, I about dropped it right on top of that. Oh, shit. That's not going to work. <laughs> nope, that's not going to work at all. Bingo! Think about that. Yeah? <laughs> Pick that out. Uh, yeah. <clears throat> Button! <laughs> <coughs> that shouldn't even sit there. Gravity, damn it. Run by uh, Jason Miller. Oh, yeah, I remember him. Yeah, yeah, Jason Miller. Yeah, I got you. Got you. Look at that. Doc did good. Here we go. Got that in there. Let's see what else we got here in this general area. We got to go over here. I know I got to do this, but I got to go over here, too. Because uh, we'll have to eliminate the bad guys from this place and then go find the... Um... Whee! That's some farmland down there. Look at that. It's a beautiful view. Yeah, that needs to, uh... Let's get down there. I swear, if I were to drop as far as he does in there, I would break my ankles. At least it's not raining, right? stuff to pick up out here.
there's more somewhere. Got that. How's the Series X? Doing great. It's doing great, actually. Thoroughly enjoying my, uh, thoroughly enjoying my time on the Series X right now. Same one that just went in? No, it's not. Okay. Always take all the silver that you can get, yeah? Spider webs, damn it. Spider webs. No! You idiot. it yet. Hmm. All right, we got full on that. Yeah. What's this? What's that marker? What's the marker? Oh, now we can do it. Okay. second okay <clears throat> the hell and there's that and then investigate the trade post okay investigate the trade post really I am investigating the damn trade post. It was full of wolves. It's not anymore. There's nothing here. Nothing else here. Can't get in there. Is there a way in? Wait, what is that? That's what I'm looking for. Oh. Damn it. Oh, you idiot. Come on. Damn it. Can't stay here no longer. Too many wolves. Be leaving the deed and knock free. Done with this. Got it. That's where we're gonna go anyway. Obtain the deed. Now we gotta get the deed. <coughs> Can't wait to see the difference on Red Dead 2. Yeah. Yeah. Fallout 76 had a noticeable difference on the next gen. Load times and rendering are on point. Okay, I got you. Yeah, I'm I'm probably gonna be checking out um probably gonna be checking out uh the uh Ooh the long drop on it. The um <clears throat> seventy six at some point. Thor lends me Thor strength. Lends me strength. <laughs> All right. So we got the uh wolves dead. You know, I really should go up here and get this while I'm here. It's probably a bad idea, but I'm going to do it anyway, I think. Oh. 
<sighs> Fuck it. Oh shit, no. Oh. That's what I thought was gonna happen. I thought I was gonna be able to dive in the water and not get killed. Jesus, that was a long drop. That hurt. At least it's not raining. <coughs> Damn it, the allergies are killing me this year, man. I mean, oh, geez, I didn't have that problem last year, I don't think. I gotta do something about this, uh, this dark thing, man. This dark thing's getting on my nerves. Dark and raining. That's, that's better. Still raining, but a color now. That dark thing gets on our 900 and... No, it's 500 and something. <laughs> Climbing up some wet rocks. Wow, this is a crazy environment, man. They, they, they've gone vertical with a lot of stuff here. in there somewhere. Not sure how to get to it. It's in there somewhere. Oh, come on. This is a slow climb. I'm not happy with slow climbs. Come on. Get up there. Don't do the slow climb. Come on. Hop to it. Damn it. Slow climbing bullshit. Come on. There we go. <laughs> Notice your area has more honeybees this year. You know what? The honeybees are good, though. Non-existent for the past three years. There's been a lot of uh, conservation efforts with the honeybees. <clears throat> so, chances are that people are actually starting to make a difference with that. And there's a little bit of a resurgence. Plus the environment, the way it is right now, uh, as far as 
you know how the climate is at the moment with the uh, for honeybees is, is good it's um we got just the right amount of rain not too much not too little oh, oh there's a freaking lake up here on top of this mountain wow oh and there's the ocean down there was that below sea level to start with i don't know and there's a fire here Bezos got the honey in <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. It's uh it's 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 good though that there's uh that the honeybees are in res uh, you know resurging like this they should be. Here's the thing. You can tell in your area um how sustainable life is in that area by how many honeybees are in the area. That's it. Because without the honeybees there ain't no food at all. Seriously. There was like, oh, they just make honey. No, they do much more than that. They pollinate every damn thing. They also keep pests away, too, believe it or not. All right, so we've made it to this place. What is that down there? That looks rather, look at that. Something on top of that. There's a little campsite on top of that rock out in the middle of the water there. It's my island. There's another, uh, another, uh, what do you call it there? The, uh, trade station there. Yeah. The one we were just at is over back that way, I think. It's hard to tell. No, not that. No, not there. There's a little swamp there. Wow. You can see a lot of stuff here. Trades. That's not the one we came from, though. He goes back over this way somewhere. Actually, it's probably back over this way. Back down that way. I believe. Usually up on top of a hill. Somewhere in there. I can't see it from here. Interesting. Interesting. key somewhere around here I'll have a thing for the key always look behind those because it's, it's important yeah there's the one we just this is the one we just came from right here you know we you mean online server error what the fuck you mean online server error Get the fuck out of here oh um, birdie yeah it was wasn't it Remember going outside without shoes was a no-no as a kid? Yeah? Yeah? Yeah, because you could st <laughs> you step on things and cut your foot wide open, that kind of thing, yeah? <clears throat> Barefoot all the time. Yeah, 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 yeah. <clears throat> Grounding as it is known. Uh, I honestly think everyone should experience living in the South for a year. No, no, no. <laughs> it's not for everybody. It's not for everybody. It's not. So we're here. This castle is, my God, that's impressive for a castle. Look at that. The only way in is right there or climbing up the side. That's, a, that's pretty impressive. And there's something else over here, too. 
Uh, but there's a lake on top of the, the, the mesa here. Apparently there's uh, two more little dots there. We'll have to check that out. And then there's something over here with uh with a with an artifact and something here. And then there's this, which we saw at the distance there, down Patrick Head. The mystery in here. Ah, cash going, yeah. Block Gara, yeah. And this whatever this place is. Aspen, Aspen. Something like that. Yeah, I'm not I'm not gonna say it again. I'm not gonna say it again, damn it. <laughs> yeah, there we go. It's right there. I'll have to climb back up to it if I do that. I'm going to do it anyway. That's oh, not that far. Yeah. One over here. And the little, the little patty there. Beautiful, lovely swim. Jeez, it just keeps on going. Look at this. Freaking awesome. <laughs> Born a Florida man and now back where I was. Barf, barf, barf. <laughs> yep. <clears throat> 30 years prior to Florida man return. Yeah, there you go. Lived in. Lived in. Colorado. Before. Yeah, there you go. Tippity tippity. Tippity tippity, Andy. <laughs> Barefooted reference was uh, getting stung by honeybees. Yeah. Yeah, I, I wasn't honeybee stung, though. It was more like wasps and fire ants for me. So, yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> They have such beautiful locations in this game. They really do. Just makes you want to run all over them and see what's going on, you know? Oh, Jesus, no. Oh. Just screams Ireland, doesn't it? Yeah. Great. Gorsh and Bigora, yeah. More water running. Look at that the mossy, mossy hillside with the water running down. That's beautiful. I gotta say, the developers did a fan damn tastic job on this. Look at this. This is beautiful. Little green, green stream running down. Look at this. Just look at it. Look at it. Just look at it. <laughs> It's fan damn -tastic. That's amazing. All mossy and green. I like it. No fish in it. There's no fish in it. There's got to be a reason to be here, though. Maybe not. I don't know. Anyway, that's that's enough of that little area. We'll go back to it later on. But that was pretty fucking great. They got some epic locations on this, yeah. <clears throat> Knee snap accident. What? Oh, yeah. <laughs> welcome, welcome. Miss Ireland. I want to go back. See, 
<clears throat> I'm jealous, man. Because I have I've never been to Ireland. I have I've never actually here's the thing. <clears throat> I was twenty minutes away from the border with Canada. That would have been my first and only trip outside of the United States. Never been outside of the US. I've been all over the US. <clears throat> I've been to most states in the U.S., but I've not been outside of the U.S. And I'd love to. I'd love to go to Ireland and visit. It'd have to be a place out in one of these little country areas, not not in the big cities. I have no desire to go to <clears throat> either uh, England or Ireland or Scotland and hang out in a city because you know that's just not you know. Maybe some of the small villages. Um, <clears throat> yeah, you know, I I actually would like to see Devon. That's a nice little area. Um, but would I want to go to Dublin? <laughs> no, really. I don't really. I have no desire to go to Dublin. <clears throat> I would. I would rather go out in the in the in the countryside somewhere and just visit. That would be my thing. Never the city. Screw, screw going. I don't go. I don't go to places to see the city because I've seen a couple of cities and they all look the same. They might have one or two little landmarks that are different, but it's not even worth it. I would rather go out to a place in the middle of nowhere and experience the world itself without like ten million idiots. You know. Twenty twenty two Florida back well, there you go. It's hot down there. I'm warning you. <laughs> Australia welcomes you. There you go. So you got plenty of space there in Australia, but most of the space that I'd want to go to in Australia is hot. It's way too hot. I'm I'm not a I'm not a hot kind of person. I'd rather be in uh you know, that's it's, it's too damn hot for me. Everywhere. I moved, I moved out of South Carolina cause it was too damn hot down there. That's part of the reason. <clears throat> and then, um, you know, we've got seasons here. I mean, it was 90, 92 today here. Uh, and, uh, probably with 38% humidity. So I can handle that for a short period of time in between natural seasons for me, which is fall and winter. I'd rather have that. Most people don't understand that, but fall and winter, there's not a fast travel spot down there, is there? Damn it. Is this one closer? I might as well just get my horse out and ride there because I'm getting further away. Oh, um, most people don't realize it though. It, it, they're like, oh, don't, cold weather. I wouldn't like that, you know. But see, when you grow up in upstate South Carolina and it's like. <clears throat> 98 degrees uh, in July sometimes 102 in July into August uh, and it's 88% uh, humidity you, you just don't want to be there it's like a sauna it's like living in a sauna there's no wind there's no wind everybody always talked about hey you know march it's the it's the time of the year to get outside and fly a kite because the march winds no we didn't have any damn wind in march you couldn't fly a kite in south carolina and upstate south carolina in the, in, the, in march because it was it was just stagnant stale humid air there's only two seasons in south carolina there's winter no excuse me there's summer there's summer in february that's the only two seasons you have in South Carolina. Summer and February. There's no uh there's no other season. It's just hot and it's cold for a few weeks. So, yeah. So everybody's like, "Oh, why do you, you know, can you stand the cold?" Oh, I love the cold cuz I can put more clothes on. Put another layer on. Does a number on the power bill, but you know what? I, I dig me some, some cooler weather. Just can't stand hot. It's horrible. 
<coughs> Excuse me. Um, uncle is in Wilmington, North Carolina. The Carolina people are also welcome. Yes. Yes. That's the thing, Carolina. It's it, The people, great state. You know, both of them. North Carolina, South Carolina, both are a great state for people. But um, for the, for the climate, it's too damn hot down there. It's just too damn hot. I can't stand the heat. In a town in Wales with a really long name. Well, you know what? I think most of the towns in Wales are long names. Damn, there's some weird sounds coming out of this place. This is interesting. Go over here. <clears throat> but it's just, like I said, it's too damn hot. I, I, you know, Virginia Valley, nice. Very nice. stuff laying there I don't need all that iron I got too much of that anyway a little tiny island in the middle of the river love the visuals coming out of this, this is great what a beautiful place There's fish, but none of my need. They're mostly trout. Oh, Jesus. Jump in the water, damn it. <clears throat> there you go. Yeah, I was in Florida for a while. Oh. Space Coast area. It, um... Uh, it didn't appeal to me. But I wasn't there for, for any kind of political purposes for it or anything like that. I wasn't there for, you know, the way things are set up. I was there for uh, business reasons, and it didn't work out right. So I wasn't, wasn't happy about that at all. It didn't end up, uh, it didn't end up right. It really didn't. before I talk to him. Hello? Oh? Yeah, I'm jumping up on the roof. Is that okay with you? You alright with that? Eh? Mm. Uh -huh. Oh, damn it. I'm going the wrong way. Here, just mark that. I went the wrong way. Oh. The sleepy eye getting you there, Red. All right there, buddy. <laughs> Thanks a lot for hanging out with us, Red. Thanks for the conversation. Enjoyed the fellowship, indeed. As always. Yeah. You, uh, you sleep well, buddy. You sleep well, and, uh, don't let the red roaches, red roaches bite. If they do, bite them back at least twice. 
Indeed. Oh, look at that. Red's heading to bed, folks. I know Red. There we go. I got it. Oh, no, no, no. That's all. Thing you're on my side, man. Seriously. <clears throat> yeah, there was a slight explosion. I can't I can't explain it. It just happened. Look at that, man. Oh, some uh, loot down there as well. You guys don't seem to notice me taking their shit, do they? I think the rest of the loot's on the other side over here. Yeah, so I can take that one off of there now. That's not the one I was going after anyway. <clears throat> There's a couple of pieces of loot up here on this hill I need to probably pick up. But I'm not going to worry about it right now because now we got to talk to this guy here. Change this over so it's um this right here. I think he's uh right there. At the ready. Six we march soon. The missing pieces <clears throat> arrived. <clears throat> the missing pieces arrived. Welcome, Avar. Lord. <clears throat> this has the looks of a Norse war camp. Plenty of stout looking men. The fruits of your labors, Avar. The kings you've helped have sent men and more as tribute. You have my thanks. Thank me later. A battle looms. <laughs> True enough. Your cousin awaits inside the tent of command. I'll soon follow to plan our next move. There we go. Southern Army. They're speaking Gaelic here. Hey! Point. Build up those abilities some more. It's a uh, 54 meter. Oh, wait. I gotta go back up that hill? Okay. Stairs? Who needs stairs? War Council. Not bad for a Vikinger, eh? You have gained his trust? I wouldn't say that, no. He's a bit suspicious of me, in fact. But he needs my army, so he holds his nose. Of course he does. 
My king's mm -hmm. smell. My king, we are ready to deliver Alec a weighty blow. But our enemies are now alerted, and will rally in greater numbers. Cashelor Castle divides Ulster and Connacht. Taking it would isolate each from each. Cashelor is a stepping stone to all the north. It is an imposing fortress atop a steep cliff. It must be ours. But, for that very reason, Lord, it will cost us dearly to storm it. Loss of men is a price well paid. Victory will bring many more flocking to our cause. Take care, King. Your ambition may overleap your reason. What is your counsel, Eivor? Cunning over courage. A single spy slips in and... Then our soldiers flood in. It is worth the attempt. You seem to have a feel mm -hmm. for this, Eivor. I select you as this single spy. Eivor? It's a good challenge. It's a good challenge. We have a scout near the castle. She may be able to help you. Well. <clears throat> I knew... I knew that castle was going to come up. That castle over there that we're just next to. Wow. That's, uh, over here. Oh no, that's Drumish. Okay. Yeah, she's right on the bridge. We can go here. Then we gotta climb down and back up. But that's closer. We can get there anyway. Before I go there, though, we gotta get, uh,. Don't know when I to get back this way, so we'll get the uh, the rest of the loot here while we're at it. Some loot there. Where's the other one? There's another one here somewhere. Where the hell is it at? Right in front of me, somewhere. Right there. Oh, there we go. There it is. There we go. Stuff and things. A fairly imposing little hilltop thing here. Oh, look at that. Random opal laying around. Nice. Find these random opals every once in a while around here. Let's see, where are we? That's this other hillside here. That's near Drummish, isn't it? I put a marker right next to this. We can hit that on the way, I think. Yeah. Do that on the way. And then we'll, um... Head over and see the... See the, uh, the spy there. Or the scout. place this looks like it used to be some sort of castle or village with little uh, stone huts everywhere but they're missing their thatch roofs it does it looks like um it's a village missing the, uh, the thatch roofs interesting Get up there. Come on. Running into stuff again. How did I hurt myself? Ammo's full. Need a little bit more food stuff before I can do that. There we go. Food stuff. 
Rations are full now. That's good. All right, let's do this. Little trading outpost here. See, do we have enough to build anything? Let's see. Oh, that costs two twenty. I don't have enough. I never have enough for the workman's cottage. I'll have to go back and do that for all the other stuff. Oh, the raider tent. That's uh, one hundred and forty. Can't afford the raider tent right now either. That we can build. Storehouse. You have to have a storehouse. There we go. The rest of this I can't build up yet. But it's there, so there we go. This is a it's an epic location all the way around. Everywhere you go in this is epic. What what a great what a great visual for a DLC. It's incredible. I do like it. Of course, watching the dog pee over there is a bad idea, but there's a dog peeing. There we go. We'll go up there first. And while we're up there, <laughs> before we go go to the uh, main quest line again because I don't want to rush it I have been rushing mm. that's a damn good glass of tea by the way how far away is this 404 I really want to check this out because it's right up here on top I want to check this lake out over here too I didn't look at it when I was up here before. Look at this. This is just gorgeous. GG, uh, Ubisoft. Did a good job on this one. Something down there. Something down there? Maybe a glitch. I don't know. Nice little fishing lake. Let's see what's in there. It's like trout. It's all trout. Yeah, it looks like trout. Seems to be. Pretty sure it's all trout in the lake. Yeah, I'm not going to fool with it right now. <coughs> Good sized trout in there, though. Walking there. Get the horse out. Raining again. Raining constantly in this game. Karen stones again? Is that what that is? It is. Damn it. That's not very tall. There's a base. Oh, that's not going to work. No, not yet. This one, on the other hand, might work. I have to flip it the other way.
box there. Yeah, this one. Um. This is going to be an easy one. Yeah, that was an easy one. Still not resting on the rock, is it? <laughs> mastery point. We'll be using those mastery points before we go and attack that castle. This is just gorgeous, man. What a lovely area. Look at this. Beautiful. There's another, um... Oh, there's a letter here. Oh, <laughs> she's been here. I'm not going to read it. There we go. Look at that. It's just absolutely gorgeous. A little village over there. All sorts of stuff here. All right, so... We go back over that way. There's our horse. Anything else on top of this? Something down below, but I'm not going to fool with that right now. Just a big open field to run on top of this. It's amazing. Oh, Darth Otaku has been there before. See what he see what he got a picture of. Oh, that's a good one. Otaku got him a nice picture there. That's gorgeous. The grand, grand visit, vision there. Yeah, who was this other one here? That's a Taku as well. Nice. GG. Uh, Darth Taku with some nice pictures. Yeah. He's on my friends list. Don't know who that is. That's a nice visual as well. Somebody got artsy with the visuals. Beautiful. There's this. It's a very photogenic, uh, very photogenic uh, uh, DLC so far. Oh, we've got a lot of map covered. So there's still a bunch of stuff on the map too. Still got that marker. I gotta get rid of that marker. What a visually gorgeous area. They did such a good job on the visuals here. It's really nice. And it's not flat, which is, it, if it was flat, it would be really, really uh, boring. Okay, we're going to have to go down and back up here. I remember that. That's the escape point right there if you need out. Can't slide up, so there we go. Skipping down the mountainside.
There's a hole in the... There's a hole in the side of the mountain. Look at that. A graphical hole into another dimension. Oops. Glitch in the matrix. Come on. off too. A couple things you need to do before I do that. Get this marker off here. There we go. Anything on inventory I need to look at? Nope, not right now. Action Joe, hey, welcome to the stream. Hope you're doing well and jazzy. Indeed. There we go. Got my mastery points spent. <laughs> Bad guys. Okay. Walk right in, right? Those defenses could stop the gods. This place is heavily guarded. Where is she? Right in front. Is she, is she on the bridge? Actually on the bridge? Down below. right there hi are you flan scout you are a bold, bold adventurer. adventurer to ask in these parts yes i am how might i enter the castle alone you can try to climb its walls a foolhardy move for such a small force is there a way to enter unseen there must be a path below builders down there have reinforced the walls a wily Viking could use their equipment to find a way in. I am that Viking. Yes, I am that Viking. <laughs> this is going to be interesting. We're going to. Uh... Uh, before I do that, though, all right. Hang tight. We're gonna we're gonna get in this castle, right here. Doc needs to go to the restroom first because it's going to take a while. <laughs> so, uh, stay tuned. No need to change that channel because there's nothing else interesting going on tonight. So, hang tight. Won't be but about a minute and a half. Good time to get to the uh, restroom visit. Uh, get get uh, snacks and drinks refreshed. And we'll be right back in just a second. Well, a minute and a half. Stay tuned. Let's see.
All right, we are back. We are back. Get my headset on right quick. <laughs> I gotta say, Ubisoft did a. I I I think it's a better job on this than they did on the main game. To be perfectly honest, um, the visuals on this are incredible. You know, epic. Um. The main game was good, but I, I honestly, I like the visuals on this a lot better. It's it, the difficulty level to get there, though, is way more than I thought it was going to be. So I don't know if, uh, let's see, let's see, um, See how we're gonna get here. We're down below. Yeah. What's that down there? Really? to go whoa look at the drop on that wow green oh, look at that Ooh. Guards everywhere. <sighs> this is going to be difficult. Bronco has found himself some delicious Oreos and milk. Nice. That's a, that's a beautiful thing, Bronco. I also found a snack while I was up. Nice ripe bananas laying on the table in there. Nowhere to hide here. Fell from up there, didn't he? That was that trap. Not worried about the loot on this right now. Oh, this guy right here. This is my spot, isn't it? E B? Uh, I can probably. this this is my spot 
maybe. Nobody up here. Really don't have anybody up here, do they? Not sure how to get that gate open from there. This is going to be this is going to be interesting. I've managed to get inside the castle. But yeah. Mhm. Mm probably would have been better coming in from the back. That was right here, wasn't it? But I, my, my objective is to open this gate. And then you gotta open that gate to get in that one. time seeing what that gate actually looks like. Oh, if I can get in the middle of there, though. See, that's going to be hard to do. Turn around. Damn it. That's going to be really hard to do. I did manage to get all the way back there, though. That's going to be hard to take care of. Oh, man. This is a door there. Step ladder. If I can get down that ladder. Um, I need to get on the inside of the building there, I think. The opening there. can't really see stop tilting up damn it bird brain cause some chaos to do this gonna have to cause some chaos to do this there we go nobody saw where that came from did they That guy's going to come look and see what happened. They're all staring at the explosives.
He's going to come look around this way again. Hmm. <clears throat> He's gotten down. That's good. It didn't burn for long, did it? It's a nice distraction, though. Anything explosive over there? This guy's got to go. I can see that now. He's down. Oh, this guy's coming up the steps. Oh, he's going back down. Okay. down that one's looking to see what's going on they're not sure where it's coming from that's good I don't want them to know where it's coming from come from I'm just gonna get, stay out of sight for a second they're not 100% sure where it come from when they find out where it come from then I'm in trouble mm. oh they're coming up the stairs yeah he's coming up the stairs smart one tried to come up the stairs He's right below me. He's right below me. 
Hey, Fayetteville, North Carolina, indeed. Hey, Victoria, welcome to the stream. Welcome, welcome. Most of them are dead now. Now I got a couple of arrows out of that. to open the gate for Flan and his army. Hey, they picked up all that stuff. Thank you, bird. The bird is the word. Well, this guy's coming back. Damn it. Follower hype. Uh, thank you, thank you for the follow. follow. Oh, welcome to the Savage. Savage. Appreciate that much, indeed. Now that I've eliminated all the uh, guards up here, I'm gonna pick up a few arrows. I don't think there's any more guards here. I, I think I've killed them all. Who needs fun when I, I can just go in and take over the castle my damn self? I need arrows. There we go. Two of those. There's some loot here. too. Might as well get it while I'm here before. Look at this guy here. Arrow to the right to the noggin. Rations are full. Okay. Alright. More arrows. I should be filled up now. Arrow to the forehead. in here. <clears throat> Nothing at the end of the hall there. There's loot everywhere though. I hate to have to come back for the loot. Oh, what was that? full that's good that's good we got full arrows now yeah all right 
getting to this other loot's going to be problematic. Oh no, that one won't. That's an easy one. Oh, jeez. Really? It's barred. Come on the other side. Huh? Running into stuff. Why are you running into stuff, Doc? I don't know. Damn it. There's the tungsten. There we go. Not bad. How much loot we get left here? There's one left right there. What is that? Oh, Darth Ataku again. Nice one, Ataku. That is a gorgeous picture. He's on my friends list. A nice picture there. Very nice. Uh, where is this one? That's over here. Somewhere. Oh, Jesus, what the hell? Run through the door there, Doc. Just run through it. There's one of the, um, one of the abilities or perks that, that makes you, like, run into things and smash it. And every, you run into everything. You run into everything. Everything. All right, there we go. Now we can get this, um, Get this door open for Flan. There we go, Flan. Come on in, buddy. Bravely done, Eivor. Cashelor will be ours. Eivor, <laughs> I have your Do you now? I count on you, cousin. Oh, jeez, that was a nasty one. Oh, Eivor, help me open this. No problem. Let's open it. Yours for the taking. Sack the castle. Go, witch. Stay back. Pay for your Really? Oh, ho, 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 ho. <laughs> down watch your flag Get up, King. Flight the idiot. Press hard. Uh, 
I don't feel like it's cost me anything. You down again? Thanks. What is he doing down? Oh shit! They keep going down. Stop going down, damn it. Oh, thanks, April. Ours. What difficulty? I have no idea. <laughs> Welcome to the stream. Uh, mm, excuse me. Slanche. Battle well fought and blood well spit. To Ireland. Skull. Ah. Another cup, my king? Where's our court poet? This deserves a song. Eivor, it is essential that you speak with her. Kira, is she here? I greeted her arrival. She will build my glory throughout Don't trust Ireland. That guy. Her song will be repeated in every village and hamlet. You, Eivor, with your keen eye, can give details of my bravery. The bravery of all my soldiers for her to craft a ballad. I will give her your message, O oh brave king. Ballad, you deserve another drink. <laughs> and you as well. Come back for another before the night is out. I don't trust the guy giving the drinks. What are you doing? Rations are full, that's good. Didn't use any arrows that time. Oh, there's a crate there. I walked right by it. It's something to do with a can. Look him in the eye. Look him in the eye. And he says. Oh, there we go. There's another one. to be prepared oh yeah he's really prepared wasn't he he was expecting to come right through the gate oh damn it well drop that <clears throat> that didn't work out yeah. that's okay if I need another snack I'll get him get one <clears throat> Odyssey, the best. 
<laughs> I played Odyssey. I couldn't get into the story on Odyssey. This, on the other hand, is an incredible game. I, I just couldn't get into the storyline on Odyssey. It was a little bit um, not quite there for me. This one, on the other hand, has been an excellent game. I've really enjoyed this. Played the whole whole main storyline through and uh, and went into uh, the DLC now. <laughs> well, that's not gonna move. Have to collect what we got here. Got the Celtic bridges now. Yes, excellent. That's excellent. Got it. Uh, let's see what else we got on here. You got anything else here? Yeah, yeah. Speak to Kira. I know. Uh, where's it at? It's over here. Oh, it's up there. All the loots and things. There we go. Now we got all the loots. Where is she? She's to my left. There she is. Sing with conviction. <laughs> yes, Valhalla is it cool. Is the mournful song of the Leofal, the ancient stone you saw at the coronation. That stone, <laughs> it seemed to, it. The legend is that the stone <laughs> will bring woe. A shogun. But the song claims, if Ireland came to peril, the stone would rain a storm of wonders. From where would the song draw this wisdom? I do not know, but my mother sang it. My mother's mother sang it as well. This is a captain. We have a little problem with our entry sequence, so we may experience some slight turbulence. Shogun with the host for the wind. Thank you, Shogun. On this fertile soil. You're lucky. I've left my land far behind. You need not leave to feel the land change beneath you. That's why I'm stuck in this court like some sort of dancing goat. Dancing goat. Any time you wish. I can, and I will. But not until Flan rules all Ireland. Is he such a great man as that? He understands that to be king is to be king of all. Though I'm pagan, he made me court poet. He respects the old ways. I admire your passion. Thank you for that. Not everyone is so appreciative. Um. <laughs> yeah, let's try that. I appreciate you for all your qualities, Kira. I've got more than a fine voice for singing, if that's what you're yeah, asking. Yeah, well... Is that, that what is you're what asking? I'm asking if you'd like to take advantage of a Norse who finds himself alone with a bewitching Irish woman. Ara, don't you have a way with words, Eivor? And I'm not saying never. I understand. I all but forgot. Flan sent me to remind you to begin his ballad. <laughs> he needn't worry. I know my purpose here. If it is as glorious as that song was lovely, Flan is certain to gain many followers. Good night, Eivor. I'll see you in the morning. Slang. Good night, Kira. <laughs> yeah, a little flirty action went on. <coughs> Look at her, we got to sleep. In a hay pile. Oh, red headed Irish woman. Well, damn. A beautiful morning. <laughs> uh, Barith asked me to return to him last night. <laughs> I should apologize. <laughs> Shogun says, uh, enjoyed Origins a lot. 
uh, Odyssey felt like a slog at that. Yeah, that, see, that's the th I think that's why I couldn't get into it. Everybody told me about uh, Origins, but I went ahead and got Odyssey because nobody was talking about it, and uh, it just wasn't wasn't what I expected. So I just couldn't get into it. Uh, maybe I'll give it another shot at some point. Mm, excuse me. Oh, that guy's throwing up. <laughs> Why are they all throwing up? Please, we <laughs> come. The army has been poisoned. Curse of Loki. Speak, Carson. Who? Th that's the man, my king. You accuse Barris. Uh, it's him. What gave me the poison? Seven silver he paid. Huh. The king of Dublin. M my king, I... I... Only the Irish were poisoned. Your deans are hale and hearty. <laughs> my lord. Flattering words and servile gifts. All to mask treachery. My lord, you know this cannot be true. Danes don't use poison. And Barath is no man of guile. My king, it was him. He says to me... Poison the feckin' Irish, he says. He, he, he threatened me. Life! Silence! Ah! Oh! Take this man away! No, 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 no. I do nothing! Kira, I chose to place you at my right hand because you see clear. Still, I cannot trust this Dublin Dane. My king, I have faithfully served you. Trust him better, Lord. I said silence. Danes often fight for either side. <sighs> Barth, stay within these castle walls while I consider your position. I must first find care for my soldiers. You well know, my king. I have a friend who can heal most any malady. Ah. One of your scattered oh boy. of forest-dwelling pagans. Let me speak with her. She'll find a cure. Ara, go. Take a soldier with you for protection. I choose you as my soldier. Meet me at the stables near the front gate. Oh, boy. Barith, you should be grateful your head is still upon your shoulders. I am. By the gods, I am. Taking the word of a poisoner is not what would, that's not actually what would happen. That's not what would happen. Come, let us find my friend Deirdre. Who is this healer? She is a druid. Wise, despite her youth. Are you ready? Sure, let's go. I am curious to meet her. Okay. About it. I'm disappointed that Flan even considered the accusation true. The poisoning had two <laughs> goals. Disable our army and put the blame on Barath. But who is behind it? The soldiers cough blood. It must be the poison used by a druid cult, the children of Thanu. Who are they? When the Christians came with sword and fire, some few druids banded together. Eventually, they vowed to destroy the Christians. They turned to mayhem and murder. <laughs> Many disguise themselves and live among the villagers. What of Deirdre and druids like her? True druids oppose the Danu, but they are scattered and disorganized. That is why I am so determined to help Flan to the throne as High King of Ireland. He will stamp out the children of Danu, leaving true druids to carry on. True druids. Tell me more about your friend. Deirdre is a druid I have known for years. We learned together. You were once a druid? I was. <laughs> there are many pagans and druids isolated in forests through all Ireland. The long ride. This way, across the river. Across the river. The 
this land is unsettling. I'm unsure of the way. Follow the stone path as best you can. All the runic stones. Uh huh. Yeah. So I'm leading you up here. It's where I'm from. Wow. The crazy thing that happened there. That was a crazy thing to happen there. Wasn't it? It was. Alright. Uh, follow the runic stones. Still going the right way, I think. Dear Drazat. Eivor. She is a druid, so a bit... Eccentric. Yes, that's it. Eccentric. Eccentric's the word, yeah? Kira, are you ready at last to return to the joys of the forest? Not this time. <laughs> Deirdre, this is my friend Eivor. I'm sorry to say we've come for help. Fe'ami. I hoped the auguries were mistaken. Children of Danu? Yes. Of course it was. Flan's army is spitting blood. You know what is needed. I'd hoped you'd find another way. What is this about? The children of Danu make the poison, but they also hold the key to its cure. Amber, made from the sap of an ancient tree sacred to them. Each child of Danu carries a shard of this amber. Once steeped in its owner's blood, the power that is held deep within the amber is set free. This is a somber request. How will I find one of these dark druids? A friend of ours tried to discover the identities the Danu have taken. He hoped to find one called the Wren. Then that friend was killed. The Danu are truly dangerous. You may find something in his abandoned house. Up north, near Port Orly Trading Post, at the mouth of the Bally Sadir. I will find this Wren, steep the amber in his blood, and return once I've done. I pray the spirits guide you. He's got some green eyes, too. That's kind of cool. I'm digging it. What do I know of this child of Danu? Oh, look. we got to look these guys up now. There we go. Yep. Wren. <clears throat> okay, Port Ollie. That's a Port Ollie. Abandoned cottage. See, that takes the place of the the order. Cause, yeah, we've got one over here for the order of the ancients, but they're all they're all dead. <laughs> so might as well, right? Quests, uh, potion of blood. There we go. Um, oh, and then I got this. This is the Celtic riches. Yeah, nice, but that's not what I'm going to be wearing. Back to this. Um, skills. I got one point. Uh, sixteen, sixteen, fifteen. There we go. Put that in there. <clears throat> Where the hell is it? Oh, it's not it's not giving me a a marker. Uh where is the marker? Why is it not showing me a marker? Ah, oh, there it is. 
Oh, that's where we're going. The trading post. I haven't been there yet, that's why. What's the closest, uh, is there a closest fast travel point there, though? We rode a long damn way to get down there, because we were, uh, we were up here. And now we're down there. That's a long way we rode. Oh, there's not an easy way to get there. Not an easy way to get there. All right, well, I guess I'm going to have to uh, travel here. Run across to this island here and get this. And then carry on to there. All right, there we go. All the markers are in the right place. Oh, look out, cat. <laughs> the damn cat there. What is this? Oh, rations are full. Okay. God, this is just... It's its such a beautiful... Such a beautiful uh, DLC. It really is. Big, beautiful deer running off. Hey. Yep, exactly. That's what I thought. There we go. We got something right here. Oh. I'd have to call a raid to get that. I don't I don't feel like fooling with that right now. I'm not I'm not fooling with that right now. I'd have to call a raid to get that. We're just gonna go I don't I don't want to do... Oh. Damn it, I missed him. Brrr. There we go. Fishes are all swimming away. Oh, it's a really crazy. What is that? It's a dock. Okay. It's a really wooded area here. Oh my god. <laughs> what is this? What is this? is this little underground area here oh there's a box here oh damn it don't jump over it forest in the middle of an island even look at this wow gg ubisoft nice uh nice little hole in the ground there that's weird but i'll take it that's cool okay. <laughs> the i you know <clears throat> fish yeah there's fish in there, yeah? There's fish in this game, yeah? Look at there. Yeah. You didn't know this? <laughs> you can catch them. No, not the horse. Damn it. 
Here, let's catch one. Yeah, there's fish in the game. Some nice ones, too. If we catch one of these big ones, I'll show you what they look like, because you can get a good view of them. That's probably a, either a gray or a brown trout. Come on. There we go. Yep, that's a gray trout. There you go. Fish! <laughs> yeah. And there's a little quest that you can get fish. Um, I didn't catch another one. There's a little quest you can do to get when you get the fish um, for for getting if you you get rewards for it like either runes or um, you know uh, stuff to deck out your boat with things like that. These are a little bit harder to catch. The big ones. There we go. Another great trout. There you go. That's a big fish. I don't know where he puts them, but there they are. So yeah, there's fish in the game. <laughs> don't worry, the horse the horse knows the way. So yeah, there's a lot of fish in there. You can see them under the water too. They'll, they'll swim away really fast when you get up next to them. But there's some right there. There they go. There they go. They swim away when you get near them. <laughs> it's very cool. It is. Jeez, look at this. How epic is this looking? I, I mean, just everything about this DLC is epic looking. I'm just impressed. I really am. GG Ubisoft. For real. I like I like the looks of this better than the um than the main game. It's just it's just epic. All sorts of epic visuals in this. Those are druids. You can tell because they got antlers. <clears throat> well, there's one of those uh, pots of smelly, stinky stuff. Some gas down there. down this one's gonna go take a look too come on go up there and take a look i dare you oh you're not gonna get you're not gonna get a big look are you that one will though down he goes thinking about buying this game you think well worth it well worth it
well worth it. I've, I've played the entire game through and now uh, working on the uh, the uh, DLC. There's so much to do in this game. So much to do. is kind of bad. Ooh. This fog is horrifyingly bad. I don't like this fog. It's 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 pretty crappy. New follower hype indeed. Looking for a game similar to this one took me um while I'm doing this, let me just do that. Oh, uh, this this one took me. Oh, I can't save right now. I'll, I'll go to the load screen. I'm not going to load it, though. Over 272 hours so far, and I'm not done. I'm On the main game, there's still a lot of stuff left to do. The main story's done, but there's, there's little bits and pieces that I haven't finished on the main game, so I went ahead and started this, but... Um, incredible game, huge amount of, uh, adventuring, uh, the main game itself has, uh, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six maps, so you got the, got one, two, three, four, five, is it five, five maps, there's five maps, uh, and there's five maps on the main, main game. And then there's this uh, this DLC that's got the Irish map to it, so it's a huge game. So if you get the uh, get the version that's got the, uh, I think it's a deluxe edition. I'm not sure. It's got a um, you get the DLC with that, which is uh, Wrath of the Druids, which is what we're playing now. Um, incredible game, well worth it, well worth it. Um, I would have finished Red Dead 2, except, uh, you know, when I got well into the game, somebody decided that they were going to come in and and, uh, and spoil uh, the ending of the game for me. I'm, and I don't mean just like, oh, hey, this happened. No, I mean they spoiled the end of the game for me, the whole end of the game. Uh, and they did it on purpose and spitefully, uh, which I, I, I hate when somebody does that. Uh, so, I mean, that's why I will, I will talk about something that I'm involved in in the game while I'm involved in it, but I, I tend to not really go back and, like, the main ending of the game, even though I've done it in its own stream and all that, I'm not gonna go back and, and tell people who the big bad guy was. If you ask me right now, I'll tell you, nope, don't know. Even though I do. 
because I hate spoilers. I really do. And, and it happened on Red Dead 2. And I tried to keep playing that game. And, and I love the game. Still love the game. Still haven't finished it just because of that. There we are. And right now we're at Port Ollie. It's a huge amount of huge amount of stuff to do. This is the, this is actually a fairly small map compared to the other maps. Oh. Uh, unfortunately I can't bring up the other maps without bringing up the Atlas going there. And I'm not gonna do that right now. And then uh, of course you get all this really cool stuff you can you can change your look and appearance on here a lot. I've been just going with the uh the Raven Clan armor because I actually like it and prefer it. But there's other stuff that I like too, like this. This is kind of cool. The mentor's cloak. And there's a whole outfit that goes with that. Um because I think I've got it actually. Let me see. Where's it at? Um yeah, mentor's robes. So there there's the mentor's cloak and robes. I got the the bracers and everything else with it, but that's a totally different look there. Um and then we got um this one which is the Thane which I don't wear the Thane stuff because looks too much like uh, Knights of the Round Table to me but it's a, it's a it's a cool piece of armor I do I do dig it um and recently we've got the Druid armor which actually it doesn't have I don't have the Druid piece that goes with that but I've got the um where's it at uh, there's a cape that goes with that. Magisters, Braithian, Berserker. I thought there was one that went with that. I'll just put mine back on. Yeah, I'll put mine back on. It's because it kind of goes... Nah. Take it completely off. That way you can see what it looks like. That's what the, uh, the druid armor looks like right now. So, yeah. But there's all sorts of things. You know, you got Thor's cape. I do have the Thor's outfit that goes with that, um, Thor's battle plate. So there's Thor's outfit. Uh, yeah, so it's lots of cool stuff. People will spoil suck. Yeah, it's, it's worth a finish if you, I know, I'm going to get back into it at some point. I really am. I'm also doing a playthrough of, uh, Red Dead 1. I've never played Red Dead 1. I'm, I'm at the, uh, I'm actually in Mexico on that one now, so. I haven't got all the way through that. No, no. We're not running around in Thor's outfit. We're going to put ours back on. I know Thor lends me strength, but not like that. go there's one left I'm out of arrows damn it Stop this. Doesn't stop it, does it? Need my arrows back. Ooh, that was weird. Stop this crazy bullshit here. Don't need any rations. 
Yeah. I feel great. Is there a way to stop all this freaking fog? I'm not going to do that because that's ridiculous. I don't know how to stop this fog. Two arrows. Stupid fog's got to go. Arrows. Uh, I don't need any food. Need more arrows. Got to run around and loot the place while I'm at it, you know. Just because. Some arrows. There we go. Is there a way to stop this stupid fog? It doesn't seem to stop the fog. Ugh, this is horrible. Ugh. Get away from that damn fog. Don't know how to get rid of that fog. Shogun, yeah, go in the dropout, find a pharmacy so I can pick up my mitt. Ah, there you go. And breakfast. Breakfast, there you go. Good idea. Thanks for the uh, host there, Shogun. Thanks for hanging out with us, buddy. And uh, you have a great day, a great weekend. Good luck finding the fog machine. Yeah, no kidding. Hey, I worked in film. I can find the fog machine at some point. <laughs> it's out there somewhere. It's out there, I'm telling you. We'll find it. We'll render it fogless. Hmm. Hmm. Obtain the deed. I'll have to find out where the deed is. Let's see where uh, Ren is now. Wait. Abandoned cottage outside. On the shore outside. The oh, that's great. Okay. Outside. There's a, there's a cottage. What the hell's the cottage? Outside. An abandoned cottage. Does it say where? Um, investigate the abandoned cottage on the shore outside the okay on the shore this way <laughs> that'll be down here <laughs> so I didn't need to go up there for that anyway but I did I, I did need to go up there because I needed to clear that but New fast travel location here. There we go. <clears throat> okay, there we go. That's what we need. see ritual stone located in a small island like, uh, okay small island got this what's that something down there
small island. I don't see. Gara? Yeah? Lock Gara, yeah. Lock Gara. So that's gonna be here. The ritual stone there, we'll go there. What's this? Oh, and this is where, hey, look, right on the way too. So we'll take that one as well. Let's do that one. <clears throat> At the same time. Then we'll come back and get some other stuff too. Not a huge deal. I am going to go down here and get this, uh, I think it's here. Where is it at? Where the hell is that at? While I'm here. There it is. It's all kind of whale bones washed up on the shore here. Stupid thing, pop up window. Hold on a second. Let me get the pop up window going. I don't know why I got a pop up window going on. Um. Right, yeah. Okay. This is a long climb. This is a heck of a cliff. Come on. Come on. We're not slow climbing. What the hell? Jeez. That was a pain in the butt. What a lovely, lovely place this is. Super impressed. I'm super impressed with the visual. Look at this. It is such a beautiful, such a beautifully done artistic creation. It is. Might be what I'm looking for right there. Really? 
It's right there. Right in front of me. Jesus, to my left. There it is. It's under here. Okay. go get that back up Need more arrows <clears throat> there's not any more arrows damn it Thank you for playing along. Shit, there's another one coming. What's this? coming up or no there's another one down there though what where's that at and the pigs down Need my arrow back from that pig yeah three arrows You just stay down there. Now, I gotta find a way to blow that up. I think, I think there was a, um, there's a way to do that from, oh, I see, yeah. All right, we'll try that. died <laughs> yeah he died
and I will come back to this spot. But right now, I need to go to the other spot because that's where we're going to find our information. He's probably going to send us back here anyway. back here now I don't think no there's that damn it okay oof that fog thing you guys need to stop it with the fog damn it developers up there She's a homely sort. Yeah. All right, that's that marker. I need the other marker. Uh, oh yeah, I have to mark her separately. That's right. Mark the target. There we go. Oh, look at there. There she is right there. Well, this is not going to be easy, is it? That looks like it's going to be difficult. What is that? Kind of ritual they do over here, freakazoids. All right, so there's no bad guys here. I'm gonna uh, park myself on top of this rock while I go to the restroom. Uh, <laughs> oh, drank too much tea. All right, so um, yeah, Doc's got to run to the restroom right quick. I'm going to try to grab a snack on the way, too. I'm starting to get a uh, slight headache. Snack usually helps. So, um... Yeah, it's a good time to get uh, snacks and drinks. Uh, we've got about... Eh, it's 4 o'clock. We usually get off at 5. Or right, right around 5-ish. So, um... Stay tuned... There'll be more to come in just about a minute and a half. No need to swap channels, so we'll be right back.
We are back. <clears throat> Grabbed a quick PBJ on the way back. Slight headache. Just a reminder also. <clears throat> today is Doc's birthday. That's right. Another trip around the big shiny thing. How's it gone this year? Eh. Not too bad. Not too great. Just kind of in the middle. But today, seeing as it's my birthday, anything stressful can just slide on over and not worry about it. So there we go. All right. Let's go kill some. What a great birthday present it'll be. In the meantime, we'll eat this PBJ too. Thank you, thank you. Appreciate that. Like I said, another, another spin around that shiny thing. <clears throat> oh, that's, that's the best PBJ I've had during my entire birthday. <clears throat> it is. Mm -mm. Birthday PBJ for the win. <laughs> Not quite as good as, uh, you know, cheesecake or nothing. But it'll do. <laughs> Won't be gentle if they spot me. The distrusted area, not a not a no flies. Oh shit. Uh, can I get in here? Oh. I did notice on this uh, particular DLC that you get spotted easier this way. You're not looking at me. Shit. I hadn't done any sins yet. How do you see me on the roof? Total hostile environment here. Who keeps shooting at me? Where are they? Oh, I see. Well.
We keep our wits about us. Kill them all. I'm out of arrows. There you go. Anybody else want to fucking play with me? Really? Oh, Jesus. Really? Jesus. Christ. Killed the entire garrison. What's that? Oh, that's a dead body. Shit, what? Oh, get out of the way. that oversized dick yep an entire force of Dane Raiders just popped in and killed all your guys 
<clears throat> well, that was not exactly stealthful. Hope you can't even hear about that. Shit, that's bad. I'll probably have to come back there. far off am I not too far off <clears throat> not too far off at all That was supposed to be kind of stealthy, but it didn't work. So, you know. There we go. Eivor, I worried you'd come to <clears throat> harm. I did not, but the wren did. May the wren's blood ooze into the lonely earth and feed the forest with red milk. Give me the shard for the cure. The shard. The humors of the ancient tree live on in the amber now sparked by blood. Look, it turns deep crimson. The cure will be painful. The soldiers will writhe and plead to be killed as a mercy. But in a few hours, they will be well. Thank the spirits of the earth. The wren carried a note. A note? The poisoning and the plan to accuse Barith <coughs> was the doing of someone called the Cursed. There is a cottage in Tuam where the cursed hides. Perhaps we can find who made the poison there. It is a small hope, but hope still. It is nearby. We must go. Not yet. The cure is prepared. You must deliver it as quickly as you can. I will look for this mysterious cursed. You take the cure. Take the cure. Three or four drops on each soldier. No more. Thank you, good friend. Goodbye. 
Ava, I'll meet you under the tree outside Tuam, heading south. The Cursed will be your second child of Danu, Eivor. There are others. Were you to bring me all their shards, I could mix you a potion that would give you the first of the blazing <clears throat> sun. I will fell this one. Then I will think on the others and your mysterious son. Before you go, there is a darkness <clears throat> rolling toward Kira. Please watch I will. over her. Of course. Kind of cute too, you know. Mastery point, yeah, yeah. We'll take one. Old quest accepted. Oh boy. All right, let's take a look. Children of Danu. Wow. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Allergy pill is not working. Not yet, anyway. <clears throat> this end of the fog is, um... Oh, I gotta go finish that up too. Oh, I meant to look at the map. Yeah. Oh, that's way over there. Into the fog. No fast travel point yet there. So we're gonna mark that and go down there. I really need... I really need this as a fast travel point. Oh, it is a fast travel point. Look at that. Okay, I'm not worried about it then. No, I'll take it out of it. Oh, no. Damn it. Come on, yeah. Mm -hmm. Craziness there. A little mystery right here. I'd love to find out what that is. <clears throat> but I'm going to go to this way first. So, yeah, we'll head that way. Hello, kitty. Petty pet. Pet and the kitty. Kitty, kitty. Ever have a morning where you just feel like you gotta pet your kitty? That's what we just did. Oh, chickens back there as well. Strange, you know, choice of animals in the area. Chickens and kittens. Um, uh, it's a really nice visual there, looking out across those trees. I, again, I'm, I will probably say this a million times, I just won't say it again. Ubisoft d did a fantastic job on the visuals on this game. Not only that, I applaud them for a hell of a story. Uh, the main, the main game is a hell of a story uh it's very unlike anything i've ever played as far as a story i love it great story i'd love to see more viking games that'd be awesome <laughs> and then um the dlc uh the story is just as good it's just it's awesome i don't think it's quite as long as the uh the other story But so far, a hell of a storyline. I'm, I'm thoroughly enjoying this game. I wasn't into Odyssey that much, so this is a, this is like refreshing. It's a long way to go. We have to get on the other side of all this mess first.
Got a kitty. Can't get the horse and travel over this. This would be a mess. Let's see what we got to look at at the top of the hill here. Very bright up here. See what I mean? This, the beauty of what they've created is just awesome here. Look at that. Oh, speaking of beauty, and like that. A little hunting. <clears throat> Squirrel. Swim across. There we go. <clears throat> fantastic. It's all just fantastic. How far away are we? And a point of getting the horse in for that. A lot of woods in here. There's woods and open areas and hills and yeah it's it's pretty incredible oh, there's a key there oh there's a bad guy there too oh wow I bet I have to come here at some point Morning there, Hannibal. How are you doing this fine Saturday morning there, Hannibal? Hope you're doing well in jazz there, brother. Hmm. Doc's got the yawning thing going on right now. I'm just trying to get up here for the, uh, I don't even, I'm not even worried about the location right there right now. Just trying to get my, uh, my synchronization thing going on here. Oh, look at that. Huh. box of stuff. Jeez, what a visual. Epic. Totally epic. Just got up about 15 minutes ago? Nice. Welcome to the land of the living. <clears throat> Fantastic. This is awesome. Take a look at the map. Oh, we got a lot of stuff opened up over here. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff opened up. There's a gap there. You got to go there separate. <laughs> Last night you booked the eight-day vacation. Can't wait for Friday now to just get away from this town for what? Yeah, I know how you feel with vacation. I could use a vacation myself, but I didn't... I wanted to take 
I wanted to save up my vacation time and take it all at one time. And uh, <clears throat> I'm not going to be able to do that. I'm going to have to take my vacation um, <clears throat> because they keep scheduling. They're cutting hours and they schedule me off. And then I have to take my vacation time just, just to make sure I get a check out of it. companies do that to you. You'd be working hard for them and then uh, and then they have to cut hours. And actually here's the thing though. They don't really have to cut hours. They're doing it for their bonuses. And I'm not happy about that. Because I don't get a bonus. It's like, hey, so management can get bonuses. We'll just uh, cut hours on the people that are uh, that are on part-time and um you know instead of eating you know a whole pack of ramen noodles for lunch you can eat a half a ramen noodle and while the boss gets a uh, uh a tiki lounge outside of his house you know in his backyard with his hot tub yeah that's what that's what we'll do that's what we'll do yeah jackasses Total jackasses. Not happy about it. <clears throat> Bit hectic. Partner walk walk out the door last. Oh. Oh. Ow. <clears throat> what the hell? little island in the middle under, underneath the water here. Look, there's fish. Lots of I can fish right fish. in the middle of the lake. Look at this. I'm in the middle of the lake fishing. Pretty amazing. I didn't expect that. I think if I was making a, a, a decent paycheck and I I had the option to a cut people's hours so I could make more paycheck for myself or B um, let them have their paycheck so they can eat too I would uh, I would let them have it you know, it's not fair if you're getting bonus for one and not all. I don't think so anyway. But people are selfish and greedy. And that's the way it goes. Bad guys in this place. There's a hole in the ground right there. With a key and a book of knowledge. My god. <clears throat> I tried to fix it by calling me on Thursday, so I said all I need was some breathing space. Oh, I got you. Yeah, sorry about that, man.
Crazy things happen. This is going to be an underground thing. This is going to be an underground thing. Spiderwebs, we'll find out. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> Stronger already. Well, there we go. Oh, good, they can't see me from there. the damn key okay there we go ritual hour okay a shoddy sacrifice they will learn no portents from this damn they skin them yeah. Irish wolfhound huh I think I've got the key now, maybe. What tragedy has befallen you? Oh, thanks be. You're not one of them. One of who? The Dano. The Dano. Not like any druids I've ever seen before. They grabbed me. And me mates. We got lost in the fog and... Me <clears throat> mates. 
Keep your wits about you. The High Druid calls herself the Cursed. Sacrifice them, huh? Bit by bit. You understand? First a hand, <laughs> then a leg. You should run while you're intact. But first, what is the Cursed planning to do? She dragged old Finton to some ritual. Poor man. I daren't think what's become of him. Save yourself. I will. I'm done with this place. The luck of Thor be with him. Luck of Thor, eh? Pick up those arrows while I'm here. Mm. Thor lends, Thor me lends me strength. As as from Friday, it's going to be me and my Harley on an eight day trip to the north. There you go. There you go. See, now you're talking. That sounds fun. Puka. What would that be? A sacrificial ritual and something about a puka. It is not much, but Kira may know what it means. All right, well, I guess we're going to look at the thing here. There's still stuff here, though. Okay, Kira. Kira's out there, really? She, uh, excuse me, what's she doing out there? Oh, wait, I got a lot of... <laughs> Alright, let's go to the order here, here and see what that is. The Cursed. Okay. One point. There we go. Abilities. What do we got here? This is something totally new. Irish Wolfhound. <laughs> I might use that. You know what? I'm going to use that. Put that up there. We're gonna we're gonna try out the Irish Wolfhound just because. So she's waiting for me out there, huh? Oh, geez, that was a lot of swinging. Swinging. Right here. Nobody in the cage. Could have been an animal in there. It would have killed me. Luxuries, eh? Anything else in here I need to find? Not down here, I don't reckon. for it every time. They do fall for it every time.
Kira said to meet outside the village to the south. If they see me, this will get messy. Well, putting that on ain't gonna help you keep her from getting messy, I don't think. I think I missed one down there. Pull on that. for that that's a lot of stuff yep get out of the way lady are they coming up after me Really? Really? How do you know I'm here? There's an issue with the AIs on this thing. I have a feeling the AIs are messed up. Kill them all. Eivor, I delivered the cube. And? Has Barleth escaped Flan's wrath? He has, and is much relieved. The soldiers are coming back to themselves. What have you mm. learned? The cursed will perform a sacrificial ritual. Sacrifice? Fee, the cursed is then a high druid. I learned that she is. But what does that mean? She wields great, great power. power. She will be protected by her acolytes. Not only her acolytes. I also learned the ceremony will be protected by a... What was it? A pook. A pooka? That That's will be dangerous. dangerous. But we've no choice. The ritual will likely be held at Carnegie. We must look there. What is a puka? A kind of animal? A kind of animal? I will explain on the way. Come. Will you explain? You promised to explain about the puka. Sure. They were once marvelous creatures, able to take the forms of any animal. Oh, Jesus, my horse. No, they're dangerous. Is this a jest? Have you no such creatures in Norway? Are you going to ride with Where's me? Where's Fenrir? Wolves to the gods. But he is unusual. Well, pukas are common in Ireland. Pukas, sacrificial rituals. Is this your world? The children of Danu are an aberration. True pagans oppose them. Flan knows Flan our tradition knows it. will disappear without his support. He has pledged not to let that happen. Well. Oh, some dead bodies hanging here. Oh. No comment on the dead bodies? Careful now. Pukas are quick. Search for tracks showing long claws and stay on your guard. I'm always on my guard. Oh, look at this. There. Tracks. Some strange looking tracks. The puka. Follow it. That's a puka? Oh my god. <laughs> oh, Jesus. What happened there? It 
looks like a wolf. Because the puka is in the shape of a wolf just now. A wolf with antlers. Lost the puka. Fog enters into my head. Mine as well. Whoa. That's kind of weird. Let's see. Did the wolf speak? boy <coughs> oh shit oh it's a freaking death claw oh shit Is no joke. Jesus. What the hell? Uh what in the nine realms was that beast? Wished. The ritual has begun. This way. the hell follow the puka tracks but the puka standing right th that was weird that was just weird Jesus this is spooky weird I feel stronger already I'm not stopping in the middle of this because you get yourself killed. I should be cautious. Why am I being cautious around here? That's the High Druid, the Cursed. She will not live to see the rising of the sun.
damn it. No. God. Oh, fuck. Oh. Didn't see me, did you? I got some loot while I'm on the way. of the moon your curses mean nothing you drew back when we most needed your awful might and now the cursed is dead she accused you of betraying the children of danu i was once oh. one of them how can this be? now she said that you warned me against them but back then it night night victoria hope. you knew these people why did you not direct me to the Ren? They only wanted to use me. Sleep well. Don't let the Ren urges bite. If they do, bite them back at least I twice. I never knew their true names or anything about them. <laughs> a glen of Maybe great so. beauty lies on our road. Find me when you're ready, and I'll confess my errors there. Well. It didn't change it. It's not really order member. It's um uh, one of them. Yeah, that was uh that was pretty intense. Oh, there's some stuff here too, man. Look at that. There's stuff here. Oh, look. This is opening up the the oak. Yeah, and that one is gone. It opens up the deer, which will also end up killing at some point. Yeah. Gotta get all them loots. Yeah, no kidding, man. All right, whew, that was a hell of a fight. Too late for this. Oh, look, there's like body parts. Look at that. There's like hands all over them and feet and extra bits and bobbles there. Bunch of freaky bastards. 
There's that one. <laughs> Ceremonial sickle. Okay. That is a weapon. <laughs> uh, let's tag that one over there, and we'll tag this this one right here. There we go. One right there in front of me, about 22 out. Oh, there it is. Three out over there. They just got dead bodies everywhere. Gruesome bastards. Those arrows too. I'll admit it. That one. There's one. That's way on the other side. Oh, more barrels. This place is just weird epic. It is. It's just weird epic. It's like a like Stonehenge only weirder. Hold on a second though. Oh damn it, get over in the spot and there we go. Could have never made it past that without. Oh, I just got a hot foot. Damn it. I never could have made it past all that because they would have heard it. So they made it where you can't just. They just. You can't be quiet walking on those. the hell How the hell am I supposed to get under there oh there we go there it is all right let's see is that all of it that's all of it got it whoo Get druid armor? Yes, you can. Yes, you can get druid armor, actually. Druid armor. If I take this off, you will see what uh, what it looks like. Uh, there's the druid armor. That's now uh, take in mind that's just regular superior torso on that. So it's not uh, not anything special. So yeah, you can get the druid armor. Um, so I've got that to start with. And you notice it's got the, the skirt type thing on it there, I guess. I don't know. But yeah, you can get the druid armor. It, it exists. Now the other thing you can get too is... Um, do I have it yet? Mr.'s Cloak. Huntsman. Uh... I don't have the uh the cloak yet. Uh the other the other thing that go that you can wear with that if you want to is um Yeah, you can get the Celtic armor too, which is like Celtic bracers, which is this. That's what the Celtic bracers look like. You can get those. And then uh you can get the uh Where's it at? Yeah, the Celtic Bridges. That's this. Right here. So, yeah. But I meant... Oh. <laughs> Step back on. I imagine you can get the, uh, the full Druid set. I don't know. But I'm not going to wear that right now. I'm going to wear my, my outfit, which is the one I prefer. But, yeah, they're, this there. Sickle, huh?
Oh, look, you can carry that. You can carry it two handed. That's an interesting weapon. Look at that. That might be interesting. Maybe not as a right hand weapon, but. Because I prefer this. I got the, the the bear claw. Let's see if the see if you can put the sickle over there in that hand. Let's see what that's like. Oh my! No. That's sickle though, right? <laughs> I'm not fond of that. I'll, I'll go back to my my bear claw. It's it's served me well, the bear claw and Varen's axe. Why would I change it now, right? Yeah. Off to bed, right behind you. Right behind you there. Thanks a lot for uh, hanging out with us. Don't let those red roaches bite. If they do bite them back at least twice, indeed. Yeah, I am right behind you because I have um, I have overstayed. Of course, it's my birthday. I can do what I want to. Um, I've overstayed my my welcome in this uh, particular um, juncture here. That was an epic spot up there last night. I'm gonna go back to the epic spot of well, that's that's the spot I have to go. <laughs> <laughs> to rejoin Kara, she's gonna be up here. Yeah. <clears throat> Where is she? Oh. oh, there's a box sitting down there I missed entirely well that. well this is a pretty epic spot right here we're gonna this is a good spot to end There we go. All right. Well, <clears throat> except for the smoke, that's about all the time I got tonight. I'm already over. <laughs> but uh, hey, thanks for everybody tuning in and joining. Uh, we're gonna be heading off to bed. That's gonna be it for us tonight, folks. Uh, a happy birthday to me. To me. To me. To me. And, um, we'll be back again, uh, Saturday afternoon, Saturday evening for some more jazzy shenanigans and shintuckery right here on Savages TV. Indeed, indeed, we will. So do tune in. Uh, I don't think anybody's on right now, aside from me. Let's see. Nope, nobody's on. Nobody else is on. So yeah, we'll just leave it at that. Let the auto host pick up. Uh, so do tune in, folks. And uh, make sure to be on the lookout. Oh, I hit the wrong button. Hold on a second here. Be on the lookout for my fellow teammates of the 111th Savage Legion, the home for misfit toys and gamers. Give a follow to all the Legion with some exciting games, retro to new betas and demos. The 111th's a quirky, entertaining group of streamers that has a little something for everyone. So give them a follow, folks. Each and every one. You'll be glad you did. <clears throat> You'll be the bee's knees, you will. We're not doing this in the dark, are we? <clears throat> And don't forget to check out our Discord. It's a jazzy, smooth community to chit-chat in. There's your invite. Do pop in and say hi, will you? Uh, 
Let's see what else we got. Um, social links over at the Twitterverse. Uh, we do tweet when we go live. Just another form of notification. Um, so uh, go over there and give us a follow on that, and uh, you'll be able to catch that next notification. In case the Twitch one don't work, <clears throat> it happens sometimes. Uh, the YouTube channel. I do upload all my videos to the YouTube channel, so uh, make sure to check that out. It's a archive of sorts for the channel. Um, there's oh, well over 1,700 videos on the YouTube channel, most of which are full-length streams, just like this one. So check that out and peruse those at your leisure. And uh, drop a subscribe while you're there. <clears throat> Legion Swag, we got it over at Teespring's merch shop. Do check it out in the panels down below this video. There's a couple links there as well that take you over to the Teespring's site where you can find some awesome merchandise like the uh, Feeling Jazzy Punk collection, the 111th Savage Legion Shield collection, the SAVG Emblem collection, and of course the Jazzy McDangerous collection. Feeling Jazzy Punk, get yours over at Teespring's today. All right, folks, that's going to be it for us tonight. Uh, do tune in again Saturday afternoon, Saturday evening for some more jazzy shenanigans and shintuckery right here on Savages TV. Indeed, indeed. What a epic view all of this is. Incredibly epic. I dig it. I just dig it. I really do. Look at that. Awesome. But for now, folks... <clears throat> From all of us here at Savages TV and the 111th Savage Legion, I bid you all a good morning, a fantastic afternoon, a groovy evening, no matter where you are in the world. I'm Doc Savage, reminding you not to let the rad roaches bite. If they do, bite them back at least twice. Stay jazzy, folks. And until next time, laters, daters, indeed. GG Bethesda, my god, I'm just gonna let it do that. I'm gonna sit here and watch it. I'm I'm gonna here, let me just hold on a second, let me just put the controller right here on the table. There we go. I'm not even touching the controller. That's beautiful. Let's just uh let's just bask in the afterglow of Bethesda glitchiness in the fog. Shall we? 
Bas anybody basking besides me? Are we basking? We are basking. That's right. Basking in the Bethesda fog of Dum Dum. Everybody follow Crunchy oh, Puffy to head. head. I think we're alone. Oh, sweet. There'll be a, there'll be a fade kit there. Yeah. I only usually do space maps. Space maps? I know them. They're the most familiar. Space maps. Space maps. <laughs> Just like space pants. Space, space, space pants. pants. <laughs> space pants. Um, what the fuck? <clears throat> I I shot him, I think, but that was a big ass male lion. Oh! <laughs> Breaking news: This just in: some bitch in there of coffee. Film at 11. <laughs> wow. Okay. Spread it everywhere. <laughs> it's like a disease. It's like a super jazzy disease. Just throw it all over the place. Uh. This just in, the coffee isn't working. Must be some bitch in doors, broken doors of coffee. Jesus. You have to change it, really? If you wanna be changing it, at least let me know. Regera Oko. Doofus. I'm gonna get butt stroked in a minute. See this? This is my boomstick! Son of a bitch is dug in like an Alabama tick. You're hit. You're bleeding, man. I ain't got time to bleed. I'm your huckleberry. I aim to misbehave. Doctor, you're being childish. Well, of course I am. There's no point in being grown up if you can't be childish sometimes. Someone ever tries to kill you, you try to kill him right back. That was fun! <laughs>